Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Hallelujah. I told y'all I'd be rolling. I pray that you're rolling with me. Praise God. So this video, and that's why I thought it was very um, uncanny that what happened with the pastor asking that God to leave because I had planned this for yesterday, but <laughs> notice I got, like I said, nothing just happens. So we're going to start off with the verse of, in Leviticus, Vel Vel ah, can't even talk, the devil is a lie. Leviticus 18.22 and always get the King James Version, all right? And Leviticus 18, 22 says, Thou should not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Let's go ahead and dis dissect that. That means you can't be with a man, a man, and a woman, a woman. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to you why, the, especially with a man, it has been so prevalent. You, Yes, they have a lot of women that are homosexual, but it's more prevalent in men. And I'm going to tell you why right now. So can you walk with me? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I want you to really share this one because this is going to be very powerful. Okay. What God told me is you have to understand everything's a spirit. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you a situation what happened when I was in Atlanta. Um, and I invited one of my students to come stay to my home that whole night. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep the whole night because whatever she was attached to, it, it, it was disrupting the atmosphere. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't hear me because we are atmosphere changers. Oh, hallelujah. You're supposed to be anyway. You're supposed to walk so heavy that soon as something is disrupted in, disrupted in the atmosphere, you're supposed to be like, okay, what is this? What, what's going on? And that's how I was. I couldn't even sleep. So the next morning I'm, she's sleeping on the sofa and, and I'm, I'm on the other sofa and I'm just looking at, her. I said, get up. We need to talk. I said, what have you been doing? I said, I'm not going to judge you, but what have, what have you been doing and who are you attached to? Put it this way. I actually saw a homosexual spirit demon. And I'm going here. I'm going to say some intense things. I don't care what nobody say. I, you don't believe it. Hey, go to God. Hallelujah to his name. All right. So this demon is very, very strong. Now, understand something. No demon outwits God because God is the father. Hallelujah. So. This demon have red hair and very, very um, robust. He's very muscular, all right? Um, and, of course, he's a man. So I saw that spirit, and I was like, my God, what was that spirit? God said that was the homosexuality demon. So, you know, sometimes you think that you're overanalyzing things or whatever the case may be, right? So God is specifically, specifically told me, he said, I need you to go find Tyga the rapper. I didn't even know who Tyga was. You guys, and I want you to do the same thing. Because I want you, um, knowledge is power, right? So I Googled Tiger. That, he has a tattoo on his arm. And it has red hair. That's the same demon I saw. Y'all don't hear me. That's the same demon I saw. So I was kind of like blown away. Like, okay, this stuff is real. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying, huh? So let's talk about why men are so seduced with other men. All right, we're going to go here. We're going to talk about the birthing canal. You see, women have a birthing canal, all right? So that's why, and this is this this conversation is for grown folks. Oh, come on, somebody, so don't be silly on here. Don't say nothing silly because I'm going to delete it, all right? Your comment, at least. Women have a birthing canal. So that's why they say women are loose or, you know, the bottom is out of her or something like that. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Men do not have a birthing canal. So let me tell you what the birthing canal is. I'm going to go ahead and explain this. It is the muscular canal that goes from the uterus to the outside of the body. During birth, the baby passes through the birth canal, also called vagina. Praise God, praise God. All right, so a man doesn't have a vagina, correct? So you have to understand, when men are seduced with the spirit of homosexuality toward men, it is almost like having a virgin. That's why they like it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You see, women have a birth canal, so they open, right? Men, they're compacted. So it's, um, and I just got to go here, you guys. I can't be choosing, trying to, you know, figure out who's going to get offended, who not. A man is tighter. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So it's tight. And so it's almost like I said, every time they have intercourse, it's like they're going into a virgin. Now you have to understand, because of the spirit, it seems that it's, it's, it's like a fantasy. It, it is, uh, the word is really called euphoria. And that is E-U-P-H-O-R-I-A. And I'm going to go ahead and give you the definition of euphoria. It's an extreme 
unrealistic feeling of physical and emotional feeling well-being of being high. Oh, come on, somebody catch that. Let me read that again. Euphoria, this is what they feel when they're having sex with men. Oh, come on, somebody, that's why they think it's better than a woman. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying, but that's really a spirit. Let me continue and read it again. Euphoria, an extreme unrealistic feeling of physical and emotional well-being, a feeling of being high. Also, when you go to concordance, it says it is the experience or effect of pleasure of intense incitement. You understand what I'm saying? So, so, so all this is, is going along. And this is not an excuse why they do what they do. This is why it's so hard for them to actually detach from that spirit. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and let's go in the spirit realm what it, it is. It's a sensual spirit. It's a spirit of lust and perversion at the highest level. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the perversion spirit causes the euphoria, what I just explained explain to you to double. Now do you understand why men are sleeping with men? Women are sleeping with women and that's why they think it's the best thing since sliced bread because it's euphoria. It is a spirit. That is one of the strongest spirits on this earth. That's why Sodom and Gomorrah was, Gomorrah was um, destroyed. So apostle, how do you combat this spirit? This spirit must be cast out. You don't hear what I'm saying. It, you can't pray it away. Oh, hallelujah. You can't pray away. Now, fasting and prayer, if God chooses, he can release. Oh, you come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, God can do this. But I'm just saying, walking up to an altar saying, okay, just heal me. And I'm not saying that God can't do it. But most of you just say, well, I'm just going to pray for them. No, this spirit must be called out and confronted. You cannot conquer what you won't confront. And most of you won't confront it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I knew you was going to make me do it. Lord, have mercy. You know how many pastors are undercover? Oh, come on, somebody. God made me do it, so I'm in here. I might as well swim. Hallelujah. I got to walk heavy, thus said the Lord. You know how many undercover pastors? And I'm going to tell you the truth. They don't like me because I see them. But I want you to know something. I have never just thrown people away. I don't bash people. I truly have a heart for people because you cannot be a child of God and truly don't love people. That is a lie before God. But what I do do is tell you that's not of God, man of God. That's not of God, woman of God. And go back to the beginning. What is the beginning? Who did it to you? Were you molested? Were you raped? Did you um, connect with somebody that was? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't think y'all understand how this stuff goes. And, and a lot of people... You know, a lot of a lot of gay people get in touch with me. Isn't that crazy? And inbox me. Apostle, I'm really trying. I, I really want to be free. And I tell them the truth. It's not going to be easy unless you really want to. Come on, somebody. I just said something. Because remember what I just explained. Euphoria. It's a good feeling. Who wants to get rid of a good feeling? A great feeling. An unrealistic feeling because that's what the definition is. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And remember, it is a spirit. It attaches itself to that person. You have to fast and pray. This kind come out but by fasting and praying. And guess what? You got to make a conscious decision to stop doing it. Oh, come on, somebody. That's anything. Alcohol, drugs, eating too much, whatever the case may be. Because anything could be a little bit too bad for you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But you have to, you have to make a conscious decision. I don't want to do this anymore, God. Because a lot of you truly are crying out. Well, 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 maybe I'm just made this way. That is not of God. You are made in God's image. And God ain't nothing like that. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But now, you don't bash people. No, no, no. But you do tell the truth to them. Hallelujah. In love. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. This is a high spirit in this hour, said the Lord, among women and men. You do not bash them. You got you to gotta have that deliverance power. You have to have, the, I'm talking about supernatural power from Ohio to, to deliver this kind of spirit. That's why the enemy don't want people um, pure and holy. Because when you're pure and holy, you can lay hands. And that spirit must come out. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you have a church that don't want to cast out demons. You have a church that don't want to talk about demons. You have a church that's all about money. You have a church that, ah. And let's talk about this. Pastor, preacher, teacher. How long are you going to let them sing, lead, worship? How long? How long?
strong, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Because everything they're spewing, everything they're spewing is going to, into the congregation. So now, let's say a young girl or a young boy or even an older man or older woman or anybody. And you know, what if they wake up one day and say, hmm, I must be gay. Which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But that is your fault, man of God, because you did not handle it. You did not call that spirit out. You did not sit that spirit down. You allowed it. And God going to hold you on it. Hallelujah. This ain't no game. Because worship, hallelujah. You see, the sanctuary is supposed to be a called a place of worship. So, so who are you worshiping when you allow them to get up on there? Who are you truly worshiping? Because it is not God. Oh, Lord. I knew you was going to make me say this. I saw something. I saw something and I, I, I can't. I got to tell what I saw. Hallelujah. I knew God was going to. I didn't know he was going to do it, but he always do. The worship leader. I don't know what they were doing. I think they were um they were kind of like not clowning around but they were still on stage doing something. And I saw them and I don't even want to do it but I have to. The guy, he started to do this. And then he caught himself. I couldn't help but look and say, and I'm sure I wasn't the only one that saw it. So, you mean to tell me they're doing that now in worship? Cuz <laughs> that's a sexual movement. Oh, uh, come on, somebody. Not trying to judge nobody, bash nobody. I'm just telling the truth because I'm sure a couple other people saw it and didn't want to say nothing. I'm telling you right now. We're in the time where judgment is going to hit you where you stand and where you sit, where you lay. You cannot keep playing with God's people because if you know something or if you are doing something and you call yourself up on that platform and you are spewing spirits knowing that you are fornicating knowing that you are gay knowing that you are doing this knowing that you are doing that god will hold you responsible and the blood will be on your hands because now we're understanding why people can't get healed and delivered because guess what that stuff just going around in the sanctuary Spirit, spirit, spirit. And I'm going to be real with you. That's why I don't like just everybody touching me. I'm sorry. Please, please, please. If I'm ever in a church and somebody say, oh, just hug everybody. If I don't hug you, don't get upset, honey. Hallelujah. Because if I see that spirit, I'm going to shake your hand because I'm trying to get you saved too. Or uh, better yet, we all trying to get saved. Hallelujah. Because And let me, let me reiterate what I just said. Because I can't get nobody saved. But I can show you. Hallelujah. Introduce you to the Lord thy God who can save us all. Hallelujah. We got to stop this foolishness. Ain't nobody want to say nothing, no. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Some of the top bishops, some of the top pastors, some of the top preachers are on the low, low. And guess what their wife know? But because the money's good, oh, come on, somebody. This has become a business. And, and it's very lucrative. Hallelujah. What about the souls, God says? What about the souls? So, so they don't have a chance. You know, people are dying. God is calling people home. And we are accountable, church. You mean to tell me that you're not even going to give them a chance to be saved for real? Hallelujah. You had your chance. You chose what you chose. So now you're going to choose for them too? Hallelujah. And ain't nobody want to say nothing. They see you, but they don't want to say nothing. Because guess what? Everybody want to be in the cliques. I, I, I never did do cliques. Even when I was young. I, I, don't, I don't do cliques. I always roll by myself. Hallelujah. Because I don't play games. I'm going to tell you how. how. You can get mad if you want. Why do you think... I stay independent. I stay independent on purpose. There, I've walked away being on staff from churches. People could tell you, assistant pastor, associate pastor, whatever. I will not be ruled and governed by the oracles of men, especially when you know you're wrong. I will be led by the Lord thy God. I'm going to do what God say. See, I ain't looking for no pulpit. <laughs> I'm not looking to be a plat. I, I, I'm just not. I just want to please God. Hallelujah. And whatever he said to say, I, but, 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 but let me tell you something. We're always on platform. People are always watching. Mm, I just said something. So it's not just a platform of a church or, or even on Facebook. People are always watching you. What you say, does it line up with what you do? Does your lifestyle really exemplify who you say you are? Because I'm going to tell you the truth. Some of y'all just lying. Just be lying. And people don't say nothing, but they talk behind your back. Ooh, homosexuality in the church. And they don't want nobody to say nothing. But I'm going to say something. And I still love you. Hallelujah. I love you, I love you, I love you. But when you're wrong, you're wrong. And when you're right, you're right. Hallelujah. You can't get no tighter. So I pray that you share and tag this. 
Because church, we got to get right before we get left. Hallelujah. All right, got one more video to do. God bless you. God keep you. I love you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.